Good morning, everyone. This is Brian here. This is what Brian thinks adventures here. Happy Thursday, March 11th of 2021. I thought I would like to pass on some very positive news that is going on too. And also an email I got from Heather from Favis. So here goes. This morning, I just received an email from Heather from Fava, and um, Fava has slowly reopened, so I just thought I would like to give you all a heads up to let you know that I'm going to be doing my um, film course training at the beginning of this April of next month. So hopefully around um, the month of this April and May. So it's just before... It's just before summer holidays draws near as well. And most importantly, folks, I just thought I would like to let you know is that I just reached over 7,862 YouTube videos. 7,863, you might say. And most of all, I would like to tell you is that I just saw some of the new bus stop signs um, along my area too that has been around for some time now. In fact, I just heard the news that um, Canada's got over 2 million doses of vaccines too. So right now it's people of the age population, 50 years to 64, are already getting it. And it's people of the age of 75 have already been vaccinated. But I'm I am hoping that I hope to get vaccine. <clears throat> I hope to get vaccinated before the um, hopefully before the summer, before I go to the stampede in Calgary, if that goes on this July, since one, I had I had a different summer last June, July and August of this past summer of last year, since the um, the Alberta government and the chief medical officer of health said that uh, summer events were postponed and banned. But um, they may allow some summer festivals come back again this summer. So, and they may allow the Heritage Festival. They may allow the some summer festivals this year, and hopefully, I can uh, not only go to the Canada Day events this July of this year, but also the following July next year in 2022 of next summer. That's a year, four months from now, and July of 2023 and 2024. Now, aside from all this, I'm really looking forward to getting my FAVA course training looked at too. And I'm looking forward to doing my film training at FAVA and Orange Hub at the start of this April. So I got to get the dates too and my uh, availability dates too so I can do that too and plan it in between my um, own time is and as well as my work now I just thought I would like to inform you all is that I am really hoping for a better summer this June July and August of this year better than last year and also a, and as well and and a better next fall next September, and 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 also next fall as well, and including next winter. So let's keep our fingers crossed, folks. Most importantly, I just thought I would like to remind each and every one of you. I hope you are staying safe, and still following the public health guidelines, and so far. More vaccines are being rolled out too. So hopefully we can get back to our summer festivities and our summer plans this summer that we, that every one of us had to put off last year. And we can put this nightmare behind us. So folks, most importantly, I don't want to be negative, but I will be getting my stuff rescheduled this year as soon as possible, too. So it's ready for this year, as we are right now, 2021, and the following next year of 2022. 
and the year after in 2023 and down the road in the future as well. Folks, stay safe and healthy. March 11th of 2021. Thank you for hearing me talking about some very positive news updates. I'll keep you all posted with some more videos too. And most of all, folks, before I go, I plan to do some ETS bus trip videos of the new ETS bus routes later on at the end of this April, as well as the beginning of May and June, and as well as the summer too. So stay safe, everyone. March 11th of 2021.